Why did you fire the director? Call me. Because he wasn't doing a good job. Very simply, he was not doing a good job. With us now, former FBI assistant director Jim Kallstrom. Now, Jim, you say James Comey threw his FBI agents under the bus. Can you explain that? Well, as you know, there was, uh, you know, way, way back now, getting on almost a year ago, there was a criminal referral that was uh, sent through justice to the FBI. You know, and I, I think it had a note on it from the attorney general. I don't know exactly how the communication went, but uh, that not to refer to this as a criminal investigation, which is kind of crazy because that's what the FBI does. But nevertheless, you know, uh, uh, and, it, and this is all history after the fact. I mean, we didn't know this when this was happening. And, and Jim Comey, uh, you know, went along with that, I guess. And uh, also, uh, she did, would not approve a grand jury. And you can't really have a serious investigation in the FBI without a grand jury, because uh, you don't have any subpoenas. You can't, you know, subpoena records. You can't uh, get people to testify before the grand jury. You can't have search warrants. So he, he conducted this sort of, you know, semi-fake investigation all those months, and then he had this press conference where we talked about this investigation that was really a hollow investigation. But nevertheless, he came up with a prosecution memo that would knock your socks off of all the felonies that, that she committed. And then he had the absolute, you know, which, first of all, he should never have done. Unless you're going to indict someone, you never talk about the, the crimes. You just stay, you shut up about it. You don't ever put that out in the press. But then he had the unbelievable um, <laughs> twist that Hillary Clinton wasn't capable of having intent because she didn't basically know what was going on and she didn't know about protecting uh, government documents and classified documents and here this woman in the white house for eight years you know flying around on air force one with all the nsa encryption and knowing all yeah. of you know seeing all these encrypted communications i mean it's just the most preposterous thing in the world so loretta lynch basically was saying to jim comey and to the fbi downplay it call a call it a matter not a criminal investigation and it sounds like comey right. went along with it so do you think the president was correct in firing james comey what did you think of that Yes, but let me get back to let me get back to that. You know what what Jim Comey should have done in my view that day when he knew there was no grand jury, you know, and he had to know that there was no way President Obama or the Attorney General was ever going to allow any kind of indictment of Hillary Clinton. He should have stood up at a press conference and resigned as as the director of the FBI. That's what he should have done. But instead, he danced with the devil for months, and and that, that's really got him into all this trouble. And his ego got bigger and bigger. You know, he did some strange things. A smart guy uh, lacking in common sense. And did it happen correctly? Absolutely it happened correctly. You know, the president was waiting for someone to look into this thing, someone that could look into it. The Democrats dragged and dragged to even have the, the attorney general, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, and then the deputy attorney general was in, what, two weeks ago. And his first task was to do, look into this whole investigation and, and write a cons consens uh, concise memo on what should happen, which he did. And the president made a decision. You know, James, and it was the right decision. It's, well, the Democrats are saying this is fascism. You know, uh, the media is saying that, that this is a constitutional crisis. Uh, they're calling grip, for huh? more investigations. They're saying Trump was wrong yeah. to do this. What do you think? No, that's crazy. I mean, get a grip. They wanted this guy fired, you know, three weeks ago. Now they, now they call it fascism. I mean, they are just so out of control. You know, it would take a thousand psychiatrists to try to figure out how they think. You know, it's just crazy. It's crazy talk. So you support what the president did? Yeah, it was his only choice. The Burrell and the FBI is a, a, a real low. The, the American public is totally confused about do we have a rule of law in this country or don't we? And uh, do we have process and all the different... All the different things that, that Jim did. I mean, I think basically he's a good guy that just lacked the uh, tools he needed to be the FBI director. And he made a lot of, of, of stupid decisions. I mean, he was releasing information on Friday afternoons like, you know, <laughs> not, not reputable people, certainly not the FBI does. And just the things he said and the things that he didn't say in his testimony before Congress was very strange at times. And, you know, it, the, the, bureau, the agents had no more faith in him of, providing the type of leadership okay. and you All can't right. have an FBI that does not have you know good leadership you just can't All right. can't do that